Hey, Shalom, Shalom, brothers. Yah, Bashmi, Shai, Barakatan, Bashim, Rakah, Kadash. I want to give double honor to the apostles, the elders, the great millstone, and peace and salutation and hope you like Atheon that's pushing this word in true sincerity. Now, this is more of a, um, this is more of a, a rant video, what's on my mind. But I just came from work and, um, um, starting to learn a lot of these corporate big corporations a lot of their um ceos are stepping down and trying to get their chips while they can all the big corporations and it comes to find out a lot of these like shipping companies and the the medical field we're still working okay everybody else got to stay home and grab the provisions they need and, and whatever you know so but i knew for a long time for months this was gonna roll i knew At, after what's seen in china because i did a video on it and then and i i explained hey this pay people this can be you this role reversal it can be you and it's gonna happen and it looked like it's happening so i got a little testimony a testimony you know one of my employees you know you know i got a bomb squad man you know they they take after their leader all right so, you know, I'm not trying to boast, you know, I just like to work hard and get things done and go home. That's it. You know, no chit-chatting. That's what I do. And, um, you know, he a Jake, you know, he a little Irish boy, you know, a little young boy, you know, he's funny. And, um, you know, he overheard me. I th he, he said, yo, I seen you on YouTube, you know, and he was like, you know, he was kind of weirded out for a bit, but, you know, he understood, you know, so... He had the spirit of Jake, so he never, like, disagreed. And, um, he always kept making fun of the, you know how scoffers be, you know, kept making fun of the situation with, with China and everything. And I told him, I said, hey, I said, that could be us. That could be, that could be you and your family stuck like that. I said, I expected to come here. You know, I could say it jokingly. He said, ah, man, we're good, man. You know, that's just... You know, people blowing out of proportion. You know how the typical, simple American are. You know, they're very proud. They stay in their bubble. All right? So today, <laughs> we had, um, I had emails and, you know, I got, I got, in, I got to the office. Right? I had a, and I saw a note on my desk and it was a letter saying that UPS is the essential part of the plan to stay open, to keep America going. Blah blah blah. Which I knew it was BS, man. Okay, they they need they needed niggas to to um move their shit. Okay, excuse me for the French. And um, <laughs> hey that hey that's why Isaiah thirty three uh, verse six it said wisdom and, and wisdom and knowledge the civility of thy times. I see every I see the the environment remind me of nine eleven when I was in New York. Okay, it reminds me of that. People's on edge, people's uneasy, they scared. Don't know what to do. Because they don't have Yahabash and Yahushai. They don't know the knowledge of the Lord. Okay? Alright? So, so I had the little letter and everything, so I had to like, I, I just laughed about it because it, it just made me laugh, you know? Now that I know that the military has, the government has some sort of control of this company, UPS. To keep it open. Okay? So that's how I know. All right. So he came to me. He said he came to me with with, a, with that bewildered look. You know how people were scared. You know when it said in Isaiah the thirteen chapter, their faces shall be as flames. <laughs> that is what I saw. And you know I hey I was laughing in the inside because this is what happens when when people lack the knowledge of Yahweh Bashem Yashah. People lack knowledge, man. Okay. All right, they're not stable. They're not st stable through this word. They're only stable through this world. Okay, this world keeps them afloat. Bread and searches, nothing but folly, nothing. All right, nothing but um, vanity, man. So when they, when the Mosai clips that bread and searches away, and that murf away, then they start to they start to wonder. All right. So he came in with he came with me. I don't want to veer off the subject, you know. He came in with that bewildered look. He said, hey, hey, Q, man, I need you to listen to this. You know, that voicemail of his sister. All right. I said, look, man, I don't want to listen to your voice. 
Mel, man. Just tell me what I have to say, man. Yo, you got to cut me out of here quick. I said, for what? What? What's going, what's, what's going on? He said, man, my sister in the military and my sister-in-law is in the military. They're telling me, get the hell out. Come home ASAP. Because the military is on the move. The National Guard is on the move. Something big is about to roll. I said, whoa. He said, man, man, you were right, Q. You were right. You were right, man. I thought you were some kook, man, but you was right. I say, hey, man, hey. You know, in my mind, I say, yo, that's all your hot about shit, was shy. I say, man, just calm down, relax, man. I say, I say, what's up? He said, yo, man. He said, something's about to roll. I just need to go home, man. I need to go home. I said, look, when you're done, you can clock out, man. You don't have to go anywhere else. I just make up something for you. You can leave, bro, when you're done. And just by that look, and throughout the look, at my job, I see a bewildered look on these people's faces, man. The Mosai rattled their cages, man. Yahabash Mashad rattled the cages of them, of these simple ass peon Americans, man. Okay? <laughs> but you know, hey, this is it, man. This could be part of, this is what the elites is doing, man. The elites is really pushing for that new world order, that device. Okay? That enterprise. That's, you could read that in the Job, the, uh, I think the fifth, the fifth, 15th chapter or the 5th, about the enterprise, man. Hell yeah, this is that device, man. That device they're using is coronavirus to push that new world order and that chip, which is the mark of the beast. All right? The RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, according to Revelations. Okay? All right, say, hey, man. Just, just by that look alone. Just like, wow, man. You know, these people have no idea, man. They're ready. They're in for a big awakening. A big wake-up call, man. They're, they're way of they, how they live their life. It's not going to be normal anymore. All right? So I just want to give a little testimony what happened at work today. You know, I was, you know, I just kept giggling inside and laughing. I'm not doing it to boast. I'm just laughing and enjoy it because these, uh, it's the year of prophecy, 2020. And it's coming to play. So my question to you guys out there who still don't believe, who fell out the truth, who fell out from this word, who lost their patience. Guys, the, the hirelings out there, you do, you, you do not fear Yahweh Hashem Yahweh after all this? I know you're speaking in your mind, man. I know you're talking to yourselves in your mind right now. I know you are, okay? But the key scripture is this, man. I think it's in Jer Jeremiah, the sixth chapter, I think the 30th verse. I'm going to get into that. I'm going to do a lesson on that. Reprobate silver shall they call them because the Lord rejected them, man. All right? So for you sincere Akim that's out there in these other groups, man, repent to Yahweh Shai and come into the order under, un under the umbrella of Great Millstone, which are the true leaders, the apostles. Apostle Tahar, Apostle Gabar. Apostle Rabla, Apostle Raka, and the elders, man. They're the one who's speaking 144% truth. And they've been, been doing it for years, man. And we of Great Millstone been doing it for years with no gray areas, man. We're not here. We've never, we, we never been playing with this word. We take this seriously. seriously. All right. So I just want to give my testimony. You know, their faces shall be as flames, man. And that was a perfect example of what I saw today. For one of my employees i never seen anybody that scared of my life before i could tell you could tell a lot from a man's eyes man okay so i just want to give a little testimony testimony you know hope it edify the brothers you know this is a exciting time keep pushing this word and lord willing man lord willing this pops off so with that i want to give all praise and glory to yahweh bahashim yahweh shai bahashim wakakadash Double honor to the pots of the elders, great millstone, and peace and salutations for the whole flag, Akion, that's pushing this word. Till then, Shalom, brothers.